hello welcome back to the channel today we're going to change the fuel filter which unlike most cars which is usually in the engine bay the fuel filter on this freelander one is behind this back wheel down here so uh got got my jack and everything ready so uh let's begin first of all i'm going to take the back wheel off then we we'll go from there Right, right we've got the wheel removed We've removed this, stick that back underneath there. There's little clippy things like that. Very easy, come around there. Little screwdriver, can some out. And uh, down here, we've got the separator, fuel filter, and fuel pump. So, held on by three uh, 10 mil bolts. Just one in there one underneath there and one underneath there i've given a bit of wd-40 so first off we're going to do the uh, separator undo that that down there and take a bit of diesel out then glitch water so uh, that's the first job pair of spanners uh wires underneath there Slacking it off, like say, so. catch anything, just let it come out. Don't let it fall off. Yeah, let's give it a little bit. So, any water that's in there, you can get it out. So, there's condensation that in the diesel. There we go. Give it a little bit. That should do us. We see now some nice clean diesel coming out now. So we'll do that back up. Lift it up with the pliers. And that's it. There's a jump which can be done with the wheel on, just get underneath and do that and just take a little bit out. There we go. Right, take the nuts off now. So we've got one up here, let's get that in there. I'll give it some WD-40, loosen them all off. one to put back on. Alright, there's the first one. Put that there. Second one. There's. Let's show you this. There it is. Just there. And the third one, you need a spanner on it. It's just there. So I'll take these out and I'll come back to you once I've got all the bolts out. Okay, see you in a minute. Right, we've disconnected it. There's the unit. This is the earth lead. Pull that off. Pull that off. Undo side that bit out there. The brackets so I'm gonna have to do a repair on that before I put it back. Uh forgot to say disconnect the battery before you start this job just in case uh, if I have that to my assistant. So first off we're gonna where's it gone? Undo that one. Oh let's take that out of the way. I'm just gonna have to rivet that back on. 
can't do that. Oh, I don't think this has been done. Oh, that's right on there. There we go. Disconnect that one. There. Oh. Push it. There we go. Remembering which one goes where. That one there goes to the bottom. Push it in. If we come at the unit, it should slide out. There we go. Right. Now what we're doing, that's your fuel pump. We're all full of diesel everywhere. Now what we need to do is disconnect this one. Let's see, and it's out of the way. That comes off of that. Right. Right, I will come back to you in a minute. Right, we had a few issues off camera with that with this. We've had to, uh, there's, well, supposed to be a couple of like screw things in there, but they were mullered, so I've had to, had to uh, drill them all out. But to get this out the cradle, pull that, slide that up, and then it will come out. So, the cradle's a bit clean because we cleaned it, but yeah, I've got to put some new rivets in there to put that on on there as the rivets are gone. So be prepared. Old cars sometimes it's not a straightforward job, but we can mend and make do, which we are. Right now we're going to get the filter out. So we'll undo this one. Remember it, it goes that way. Undo that one off the back of the filter. There we go. Now we've got the filter. Remember that's your fuel pump if you need to do any work on it. But this is quite a good one. It's it's quiet, so don't fix it, ain't broke. We don't know when this was last put in, but they, they, oh, they're a bit of a bugger to get out. Get rid of that diesel. Should have done it in the container, but there we go, just drain that out. That can sink in. There we go. Let's, let's get the rest of it. Ugh, there it is. Right, let's drain that out. So, yes, we've drained the separator to get any water out of that. We've done it so that's full. Start with this. That is. See the rubbish in there coming out? All the black stuff was actually in your filter. So that's what's stopping it. Okay. Right. So uh, we'll continue draining this. Then we'll come back to you when we're ready to slip it out. Right there, a bit of a bugger to get out. So what I suggest, just hold it there. A bit of deep socket. Just go in there. Doesn't hurt it, just a few gentle little taps. As you can see, it slides out lovely. Just keep tapping it. Don't smack it, don't really want to break it. There we go. Bit of a tight fit. As you can see, that's better. There we go. And take note that the arrow points that way. Direction of uh, flow. Right. Right, we've got the new fuel filter here. Keep the ends on, and we're going to put that in. But what I'm going to use, make it easier, 
little bit of silicon lube on there. It's sliding lovely. There we go. Make sure your arrow's going that way. Slider in. There we go. Just like that. There we go. We're, we're right. Right. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to take a break. We're going to repair this uh, thing. Then we put it all back together. Right, that's the fill through I've now put in. I've done a couple of repairs, put these on there for easiness. Seems to now. And uh, down there, put some rivets in. Put that in. Uh, there was only uh, two two bolts in the end. That one, I'm mistaken, but that just takes that cradle off. You can take that bit off if you want. And that should come apart. But there we go. Anyway, we're going to put it back. Putting it back into reverse and taking it off. So uh, I'm going to end the video there. Thank you for watching. Bye. Don't forget, don't forget, uh, please like and subscribe for more content. Bits and bobs I'm going to be doing. So uh, yeah, please give the uh, video a thumbs up and subscribe if you uh, like what I'm doing. Thank you very much. Bye.